I want to spend a few minutes with you going over how the course is structured and where you can find things in the course. Let's begin with the course overview. Here's information that you'll find about the course. Now you'll notice I've created a, a course modules. Modules are sort of like folders but they have an interesting uh, look so you might uh, use course modules to organize some of your information. What I like about them is that they provide a table of contents so that you can navigate through and in this course the modules are all basically reading materials. In the course description module is the assignment summary. Here you'll find a list of all of the assignments throughout the course. So take a look at this and this might be a good way of keeping track of things that you have to um, attend to in the course. The course itself is organized in um, weeks, so I go into the course content, and this is the information for each of our eight weeks together. So let's take a look at week one. In week one, as with every week, I summarize all the information within that week, and I do it in order of the learning objectives, the readings, activities, and assignments. So this is a list of the items that you'll be uh, accomplishing throughout the week. And below that are the items themselves in the order that I suggest that you go through them. Starting with the first activity, which is a discussion board. Why don't you go ahead and uh, complete that right away. I'm very anxious to hear a little bit about you. And so that's the first activity in this course. And then again, the modules are reading information and they'll be followed by assignments. Here's an assignment, and there's a second assignment for the first week. I tell students the first week of an online course to plan their time well, and one of the things I hope that you get out of this experience is an idea of how long it takes you to get various assignments completed to help you organize your time and see what's uh, coming up in the schedule. I suggest you uh, might consider this tool. It's a course calendar. With the course calendar, whenever you enter an assignment or a test with a due date, a link appears for that assignment. So you can go straight to an assignment so that you can plan for it. After looking around, if you have any questions, ask uh, in a discussion board. Your question might be relevant to other folks. So here's the first forum, questions about the course or its operation. So you'll want to click on that link and then create a thread and post your question. Now you're welcome to answer another student's questions, but uh, at the very least you can expect a response from me within 48 hours. Now there are certain questions that you won't want others to read, so in order to have me address those questions, go to the tools, and here you can send emails to various groups or individuals in the course, but if you want a question to be addressed particularly by me, click All Instructor Users and then send your question and that will be available only for, for my eyes. This should get you started. You'll get weekly announcements. And you got the first announcement today and I'll send those out at the beginning of the week. You also should have the textbook for the class. The readings in the textbook are not required, but they do parallel what we're talking about. So if you want to explore an idea in more depth, I suggest that you take a look at the book. It's very good. Also, the assignments are made so that you take the assignment and build them into a course shell. And each of you should, in your Blackboard courses, have a shell for ICD. If you don't have the textbook or you don't see the shell for ICD, please contact me right away. I'll make sure that we uh, take resolve that issue uh, immediately. Well, we're ready to get started. I look forward to uh, hearing more uh, about you in the first assignment. And uh, if you have any questions, by all means, contact me. Thank you. Bye.